Hey guys, it's me, Gary Lee Stanley, your friend, your sales guy. Uh, how are you doing this evening, guys? Uh, <laughs> I'm just getting back with you about some information I think might be kind of interesting to you. Uh, here recently, I have been given the opportunity to work with a, a wonderful company. Um, they're called Family First Life. Now, I sell real estate for a company called Exit Real Estate Gallery. They're totally separate. Uh, but one of the reasons why I started um, looking at insurance as being something that is needed is I had a license for quite a while. And here recently, uh, I ran into a friend of mine and uh, we just had a chat about you know this company and they're just a wonderful company their 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 information was wonderful their training was wonderful family life first right here in jacksonville we have some locations where they're all over the united states of america um i'm not going to give up selling real estate because i really enjoy doing that a lot but I've just seen so much in my lifetime that I got a license to sell uh, life insurance a few years back when I was a mortgage broker. Uh, I used to take care of people and I would always like talk to them over the telephone. And at that time when I was doing it, I, I ran into people all the time. I'd ask, you know, uh, they were upside down in their mortgages. We were trying to refinance them. Uh, but a lot of the times I'd ask a simple question, what's going to happen if you or your significant other were to pass away? What's going to happen? And generally, most of the time, everybody said the same thing. I don't know. They had no, no idea. And so I was thinking back then, I said, you know what, if I ever get a chance to help people, you know, I would love to do the real estate stuff, but I'm also uh, interested in, in life insurance and also talking about mortgage protection. And mortgage protection, basically, it helps people uh, when they're in a time of need. And it sucks when you have a mortgage and you don't have two incomes coming in. And it can be very uh, detrimental. I mean, I've seen people who've actually had to get had to leave their comfortable home that they've been in for 10, 15 years and still owed money on it and had to walk away from it because for whatever reason, it, it was just a devastating situation. And when I would talk to these people over the telephone, I'd ask them why they don't have any kind of insurance or anything. And a lot of times people don't like to talk about death. Uh, we think we're immortal. We think we're going to live forever. And I recently have had quite a few people in my life who've passed away. And some of them had insurance, but most of them, they didn't have a clue. They didn't have anything. And I'm thinking, man, I could have maybe been there for them to help them. And so I re-looked at my insurance license. I've got uh, my certifications. I went back and got them all updated. And I'm working uh, with a lot of what you call carriers, uh, different companies like Mutual of Omaha, uh, just some Am American Amicable, um, Americo, just some really well-known companies. And I'm a broker now, so that means I can go out and I can talk to people about insurance, but also they don't have to go well maybe i could find a cheaper price out there somewhere well you know i can i can look them all up for you to see what the best value is for you so you don't have to waste your time you know um i'm just a very fortunate person that you know god has given me this kind of attitude where i want to help people i like helping people i really do and i see that there's a need we live in a country today that's kind of crazy People are dying left and right from fentanyl. People are dying left and right for all different types of reasons. And, you know, I just decided that, hey, Gary, I'm going to go ahead and do the real estate thing. But if I can help people uh, with mortgage protection to go ahead and cover their mortgages uh, in a time of need where they can at least walk away from their home with dignity and at least be able to pay maybe the, the mortgage for four, five, six, seven, ten months. And if not up, you know, get a nice amount of money to go ahead and pay the mortgage off. Uh, I have that capability. I, like I said, I work with a bunch of different great carriers who can walk, you know, us through the process to be able to make sure that if you pass away or your significant other passes away, you're not left in the dark. At that last moment when your loved one, you go to bed that night and you wake up, the next morning, that significant other, that could be you, or your significant other could be, they could have passed away in the night. And you're going to wake up and you're going to be like overwhelmed. You're going to be devastated. And you're not going to know what to do. 
unless you're prepared. And I know it sucks. We're talking about a subject that nobody really wants to talk to or talk about. But see, I'm going to. I'm going to talk about this thing called death. People die every single day. And I've seen it in my own life. And it sucks. People that you love, people that, you know, that, that are prepared. It's like their family, they can actually grieve. And if you're not, you don't have any life insurance on yourself, shame on you. Um, I've got a lot of different types of life insurance on me and I've got it on my son and I believe in it. And the reason why is because I don't want to leave a burden on my family when I pass away. I ain't guaranteed another day. I'm just being quite honest with you. You know, I'm 56 years old and there's men and women my age that have just walked right off the planet. Now, you may be a person who's a young person watching this who's in your 20s. That's our 18 to 25, 30, 40 years old. Well, that's perfect because, see, if you were to buy insurance on yourself at a young age, I promise you, you will not be kicking yourself in the butt when you get to be in your 50s and your 60s and your 70s. And the reason why I stress that is because it's cheap. It costs virtually very little. And, see, that's why I've got a, a nice amount on my son because, see, when he gets married, Married, I'm going to go ahead and have that policy there for when he gets children. So then when if something happens to him, you know, it's not about me. It's about the family that's coming afterwards. You don't buy insurance for yourself. You buy it for your family, their needs, their issues. People pass away a lot of times. And when that happens... They don't want to be thinking about, well, how am I going to pay for this? What did they want to do? Uh, did they want to be buried? Did they want to be cremated? We want to be able to give people the gift of understanding what we want. You know, as far as myself, I'm going to be cremated. You know, I've got insurance policies that are available for my son, but I want him to be able to use that money in a way where maybe he can put a down payment on a really nice house, or he can just go ahead and save that money for a rainy day for his family. Now, you may have uh, children. You want those children to be taken care of, or do you want to be able to put them in college, or do you want to have to deal with those children being pulled out of school. You know, recently we had this gentleman who passed away. Uh, he was uh, a nice guy, a young guy. He was like 21 years old. He used to go over to my mom and dad's house and he was so excited. He just had a new little baby and it was so cool. He was so excited because he used to come around when he was real little to my mom and dad's house and help him out with the, you know, on the farm and everything. And it was so sad that when he passed away, he got in an automobile accident and he left his little baby, his little baby girl with nothing nothing at all and so these people are going to have to depend all on just the the kindness of, of of our government and i don't know about you i'd prefer to be able to pay my own way and i'd want to make sure that my kids or my family doesn't have to suffer and maybe have to go on food stamps and things like this uh, getting in a little assistance now there's nothing wrong with that but if it's in your power to have the capability to, to leave a legacy, something for your family, even if it's only $10,000, 15, 20, 30, even a hundred thousand dollars, it can make a difference when you pass away. Cause believe it or not, they're going to be thinking, what do we have in play? People all the time are doing these GoFundMe kind of things because they ain't got no insurance. They're they're devastated. When you go to to talk to somebody about putting somebody in, in, in the graveyard, you're gonna to have to come out of pocket. I've got a really great friend of mine. I mean, I love this guy. He had to bury both of his parents and he had no they had no burial policies. They had no insurance. They had nothing. This almost wiped him completely out. And it was over 30 something thousand dollars. And I'm going to tell you what, that's a whole lot of money. And if he would have had something in play because his parents weren't prepared, it would have been a better day for him. And, and like I said, it took him years and years to be able to get over that and having to pay for it. And prices of, of you know, getting cremated, it's less than $3,000. But if you're out there wanting for your family, to view you or if you're going to be uh, buried it's going up and up and up and up it's not going down so my simple job today is just to reach out to you and let you know that hey yeah I sell real estate but I also help people 
with mortgage protection so they can cover their home so they can either walk away with dignity or they can run from their home and they're like, where am I going to go? How would you like for your family to be left in a situation where they've got to go find new schools for the kids? Or maybe they've got to uh, get rid of the car that they just got because you couldn't, you, you didn't have any insurance. So now you lost your home and they lost the car and they're having to start all over. Like I said, a lot of times people do not want to talk about this subject. And I know I don't like to talk about it either, but I'm expressing my feelings because, see, you can trust me. I'm one of these kind of people that really do care about people. And I'm working now. Again, I'm doing this part time. I, I really believe in it. I'm working with a, a company called Family Life. Uh, and my name is Gary Lee Stanley. We do mortgage protection and final expense. And I'm a specialist. This is my new business card that I recently had uh, made. It's, uh, it's a little bit different. It's my card and it's also got my telephone number on it. And it's also, you know, something that's really important. And also here guys, on the back of it, it's really important that you read this. Family First Life, when death comes, how will you leave your loved ones? Before death calls, call 904-662-8933. And this ain't no joke guys. I mean, sometimes people do these these uh, these Facebook stuff. We have a lot of fun and everything, but let me just give you some insight real quick too. Okay, right now, if if you were to look at the moratorium where people are passing away, here recently, and the top ten reasons people die, the causes of death, and I looked it up. Number one is heart disease. Over six hundred fifty nine thousand people a year pass away from that. That's number one. Number two is cancer. 599,000 people died last year because of that. Accidental death, 173,000 people. Chronic lower respiratory disease, 156,000 people died. And these are pretty much per year. Stroke, uh, it was 150,000. Alzheimer's disease, 121,000. Diabetes. People are dying of diabetes. 87,000 people die from that disease. They, now, this is a, uh, uh, they also, there's some other ones that I can't even, I, I can't even know what they're saying, but influenza killed 49,783 people. And see, here's a whole lot more. And see, suicide is also another one that's been killing a lot of people because people get overwhelmed. They don't have any money or they run the risk. They're just dying. So I hope this doesn't offend you or anything because I'm reaching out to you. You know, my name is Gary Lee Stanley. Uh, I am a salesperson. I help people buy stuff all the time. But I do believe in this product. I do believe in final expense. So that way you can have something in play that you're not going to leave your family in a burden. You know, you may not want to watch this video. You may say, I don't think it's a good thing. Why, why would you do that, Gary? Well, I'm going to do it. People are dying out there. We had this pandemic. So many people passed away. And a lot of people didn't have any insurance at all. Okay? And right now, you can get insurance at an affordable prices. I work with people who are on Social Security. I work with people who want to fit things in their budgets. If you have a home and if you would like to be able to get a policy, I've got a policy right now where you can actually have a home, pay on it for 10, 20, 30 years, and get the premium amount of money back that you paid on the home. Just saying, guys. You can get your money back on a policy. Also, here's the thing. When people are dying every day, it's not that we're going to die. It's like, what's going to happen when we die? Who is going to have to be the one that's going to be able to have to pick up that heavy phone and get all that stuff taken care of? See, you've got to have beneficiaries. My son, Dominic, he's my beneficiary. I want him, when I pass away, for him to grieve, but I want him to know that his dad thought about him in a time of need. I, wanted my son, I want my son, because he'll probably get one of my houses. Yeah, he'll get this house, and, and, and it's nice, but you still got to pay taxes. you got to pay insurance. You've got all these bills that don't stop. Some people, when they, they get insurance, they pay off their bills so they can live comfortably. Some people, they just need so much money, 10, 15, 5, 10, 15, 20,000 to bury the person, but to also be able to stay in the home comfortably, who knows, for a year, maybe two, where your mind's clear, 
where you think clearly and then you can make a more informed decision about where you're wanting to go. If you have children and your significant other were to pass away, do you want to have to just jump into another relationship because you're worried that you, that you don't have anybody to help you with your kids? Don't think it happens. It happens all the time. People make bad decisions when they're worrying about money. Okay, guys, so you can be mad at me for talking about the subject, or you can say, thank you, Gary, for talking about it. Now, you can get some insurance, and I can help you. We, you know, I don't care. You can be on your deathbed now, and they've got insurance for you. You can have all kinds of diseases. You can have everything, and I have the capability to get insurance for you. I guarantee it. I can help you. And my number is 904-662-8933. And I work again for Family Life, and I do mortgage protection. I do mortgage protection, and I do final expense. My telephone number again is 904 662 8933. And remember, guys, when death comes, how will you leave your loved ones? Uh, give me a call 904 662 8933. And remember, I just went through this list how people die on a daily basis. You ain't guaranteed another day, so once you make an informed decision, give me a call at 904-662-8933. And yeah, this is morbid, but it's been on my heart, and I'm tired of seeing people who pass away who don't have a dime. Or they buy a new house, they love their brand new house, the significant other dies 10, 15 years later, and they ain't got nothing. They got to leave their home. That sucks. So do me a favor, don't be afraid to reach out to somebody who can help you. And that's me, that's Gary Lee at 904-662-8933. Again, I had to talk to you about this because when death comes, I sure hope we're prepared. All right.